It's your boy Andre Dorn, and I'm walking across the street with my boy Jim. All right, what's good? I'm here with uh, Andre Dorn. How are you, sir? I'm good. I'm good. Good. Uh, I'm glad you made it out. Um, I don't know if you watched the show enough. I think you're a new new viewer, but uh, I bring everybody a gift. I brought you a uh, Cross the Street t-shirt, uh, size oh, yeah. large. I appreciate it, I appreciate um, it. Hope you get a chance to wear that at some point during your <laughs> exercising career. I wouldn't even be mad if you tore the sleeves off it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, get that mind, get that mind. Um, so what have you been up to, man? Why don't you catch us up a little bit on who you are and uh, how you got to how you got to Oregon? Or Oregon, you... well, I'm, like I said, Portland, from Portland, Oregon, born and raised. Um, right. Where'd you go to high school? Centennial. Centennial, but all I right. Went, I was from Northeast. Uh, so I went to, it was called King School, and that was De La Salle. But I went nice. to I went to when it was King Elementary, and then De La Salle. So from there, I kind of went to school there. Before we migrated over to like Southeast Portland, towards like Gresham, Dale Douglas area, mm -hmm. and then I went to Centennial High School, and that's where I kind of started my athletic career there. Yeah. So you went to Mount Hood Community College. Yes. Yes. This man is a five-time, five-time. Is that correct? Yeah. All American, man. All, All American. American. That is Fucking insane. Field, man. Yeah. I asked my son, I said, how do you become a five-year all, five-time All-American? How, how do you do, was it four different events? It's, it's if you get top three in events. So pretty much, pretty much it's my two years. So 17, 19. So if you place, if you're top, top three, you get All-American. Wow. So that's pretty much, that's me all together. All there's, like, there. there's like pictures of you finishing the race and you can just see a bunch of lollygaggers behind you. <laughs> I'm dying. I'm like, this fool is smoking people out here. Yeah. What yeah. was your favorite event? The four. That's, the four, my, that's, the my, that's my pride and joy, my yeah. life. Blood, sweat, and tears in that race. But yeah, the four is pretty much my main race in track and field, yeah. Track and field? Yeah. How did track and field even be something that you came into? Like, Ooh, my first sport, my first sport was, yeah, my first sport was football. Okay. Um, I did football for, for high school, in high school, three years. And then after my senior year, I Went to college, Drew College. I went to college, it's called College of Redwoods. I went there for one year, did football there. So my first sport was football, first. What and position then, did you play receiver. there? Receiver. Oh. Receiver. So I did a <laughs> one season of Juco, came back home, Thanksgiving break, didn't, come, didn't go back. So then I was sitting there, I was like, hmm, I wonder what, I was like, I, I, know, I, was like, I think that's when we were, we were hosting the indoor, the indoor truck field championships here at the Mullison one year. So that came, that came on TV and I was like, hmm, let me call my high school coach. And he was like, oh, well, you trying, you trying to run track? I was like, yeah. He's like, well, I'm going to get you in touch with the Mount Hood coach. Whoa. So then that happened. I went to Mount Hood, introduced myself one day. Said, come back tomorrow. I came back tomorrow, introduced the team. And then I ran, I ran unattached. Unattached means I ran, I didn't run from no school. I ran for myself. Okay. So I, you, you do track meets, but you're running pretty much with no, under no banner. No school or no whatever. No school, you just run yeah. for yourself. Okay. And so Is I ran that hard unattached. to do? Is that hard to do? You just, you just, you're just running. You just, like, I wasn't on the team yet. So I had to run. I had to pretty much run by myself, for myself, to, like, put, you know what I'm saying, so they can wow. see who I am. Man, that's so some I, good information out there for the, for some of the kids that are, you yeah, know. Unattached, like, yeah, unattached, yeah. So yeah. that pretty much means when you're not on the team, you run unattached. So I ran, I ran unattached, and I showed them, and I was like, oh, this kid is, that, that, this kid is, you know what I'm saying? This yeah, kid yeah. is the nice. real deal. Yeah. And then from there, it kind of just, uh, then I finally, next, the next year I was on the team, got my full ride, and then, had two fantastic seasons there. I won, I won championships my first year. My Was that your year, first year as an All-American? You were an All-American your my, freshman, my freshman year? year? And then I didn't, and then my sophomore year, I did it again. So I, wow. I, I went 17, I took a break of 18, so I was, and then 19, I came back again and did it again. And then I committed to a school in Colorado, Colorado Springs, mm -hmm. but then COVID happened. Uh, and that kind of messed it all up. And then I'm like, oh, oh well, no. so then I'm like, well, I'm still trying to do track, you know? We had a and gentleman then, on the show, Daddy Backwood, uh, who's going to be performing, actually, at the, at the, at the gig. Uh, yeah. He was a college athlete in same, almost the same kind of story. Not as, he broke his knee. Oh, and then, so that, that kind of ruins. Yeah, like stopped everything. So, so for you with the COVID, what's next then? Like, how do you get back into I mean, that seems to be your passion. So how do you get back into this? Uh, so that said, that happened. And then I was kind of sitting there. And then let's, let's fast forward. OK. Let's fast forward. Okay, so I was like, okay. Well, now I have, I had, including Bucks, I had three sports to choose from. I had to, I was kind of stuck. I didn't know which one to choose, football, boxing, or track. So I was like, I have to, I have to commit to one. Right. So then 
one day my brother was like, oh, let's find a boxing. Let's 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 try let's you know let's try let's try let's try out boxing. And then next minute you know we we took a class, our first class destroyed us, right? And then I looked at him, looked at me, he was like, yeah, let's do this. Like it tore you up physically? It, it, like, 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 like it was like probably like the, one of the hardest workouts. After all the track and field stuff you've done, you've ran the to boxing, you puke before. I know you've done that. Yeah, but the boxing workout, my first boxing workout, like our like initiation to it, horrible. <laughs> and I looked at him, he was like, you know what? Let's become members of the, the, the gym, the, uh, the boxing gym. And then pretty much next thing you know, we, next thing you know, I'm fully licensed boxer, USA boxing. Yeah. I haven't have got a fight yet, but like I, yeah, yeah. I, I, I licensed up, got my license, wow. registered, and I'm like, whoa, now I'm just I'm like, damn, I didn't know I was going to come I was this saying far. that to Will the other day. It's kind of, you know, you guys are going out there and putting your masculinity on the line and, and being true warriors, if you will. Yeah. Um, yeah. Whether it's fun or not, you know, or, or for a good time, I know that the, the man in you is like, it's like the warrior. Bro, warrior. if yeah. you're an athlete and a competitor, I know that deep. I know it's yeah. burning. So it's like, and then, but yeah, like I said, it's, like I said, I'm still learning. Like I said, I'm not going, I just thought the events could be fun. I got a bunch of family and friends coming out to watch. So it's gonna be very fun, very entertaining. Um, like I said, I'm just ready for that to see how, that, how far we can make that event become deeper later on, you know what I'm saying? Like, how you been doing with training? Have you been? Yeah, I've been training. I've been, been training? I go to, yeah, I go, my gym's like in Gresham. I'll be going there training. So you're staying like five days a week kind of training at this point or? Yeah, when I can't, off of work, I go right. off of work and then train. And I saw, I watched your, some of the clips that you showed my friend. Um, bro, I don't know if I want to get hit by you. You, look, you got some, <laughs> some heat in there. And the dude you yeah, were working with, working with your footwork? Yeah. He seems very, very skilled. Yeah. He seems like a very smart yeah. man. He's been it longer than I have, yeah. Yeah. Like I, said, I, still, I still see myself as like a noob, a rookie. You know what I'm saying? It's like you can't you can't learn you can't be the best in boxing in a year. Unlike you, football on track, you have to really develop yourself. <laughs> yeah. that, it's, 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 it's a different ball game. Yeah, yeah. Different ball game. Different ball game. I'd imagine getting punched in the mouth for the first time and realizing, oh, that's one of many to come. That's um. <laughs> actually I think my first hit, my first real hit was from a pro. He hit me right in my kidneys, man. And I was like, oh, I was like, feel? ah, oh, it changed me. It changed me. It. I knew why. I was like, okay. Now I know. Now I know. Now I know. If I was to do this for real, <laughs> I'm gonna have to expect those type of hits every punch. You know. Yeah. So it definitely, it definitely changed me. Definitely gave me a better understanding of okay, these. Oh yeah. I asked Will that yesterday. Like, is it, it's kind of part of the training. Like, it's kind of part of training. You gotta right? kind of have to catch one every now and then to, to, to remind make, yourself. To remind right? yourself. That, okay, I'm doing this for real. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You know much about this guy? Um, no. He, I just. <laughs> no. They brought the umbrella back. That's great. It was missing for a while. They just took it back and restored it. It's the oh. Allow Me guy. He's been here in Portland for many, many years. Cool little thing here. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know why he's hailing a cab, though. Yeah, I, I don't like, know. This isn't like, like New York City. Yeah, I don't know why yeah, he's... I don't think we, we don't yeah. got cabs out here. Not yeah, a lot of cabs, cabs yeah. but yeah. He'll probably put a cell phone in his hand, have him calling for an Uber in the future. <laughs> yeah, something like the Uber. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he'll be at the corner. Yeah. Uh, well, cool. that's great. I'm excited for the fights. Uh, there's going to be a lot of great food there. Oh, yeah. Um, some musical events, of course. Uh, Great that thing that Nate's putting on. Shout out to Nate. Yeah, um, shout out to Nate, the yeah. The promoter for putting this on. Um, yeah. It's a great opportunity for y'all. Have you, have you made some friendships out of it yet? Um, With fighters? I know one fighter from a long time ago. Um, Craig. Craig, me and Craig. Me and Craig, we actually used to live in the same apartments way back in the day. Craig's a good friend of mine. So he knew me when I was like, yeah. like still in high school. Oh, wow. So we've, we've been, yeah, he's been there since like the very beginning. So it's interesting to see him, you know what I'm saying? Again, That's I'm all grown and up and yeah, it's, it's yeah. And you might have a guy. chance to fight him based on the way it works, right? It's a tournament. Yeah. And no one knows who they're fighting right away, so. Uh -uh. We don't, I think we won't know until the week before, but I don't, yeah, I don't know. I'm still like yeah. just waiting to see. And how with the go. one minute rounds, it really does sound like you gotta be a little calculated out there. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Like one minute, yeah, for sure. Just cause you're fighting. Like I said, I still don't know how it's gonna work. Seven, is it one? I heard it yesterday. One, the it, rules were explained as three one-minute rounds with each person. With each, person. but it's like a break. We got breaks in between them. I believe so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. Pace yourself, I guess. Uh, might be good advice. Yeah. What yeah. do I know? I really yeah. wanted to be a boxer until I saw him hit that bag yesterday, and then watching <laughs> those videos of you today, I was like, man, I'm out of this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you listen to a lot of music? Are you a music fan? 
Yes, um, I listen to old music though. See, I, I grew up with my grandma, so I listen. To, I'm old soul. I listen to like, yeah. I listen to Ozzy Brothers. Ooh. I listen to Cameo, Ooh. like my MJ. Um, my co funk Sean in there. Uh, yeah, I'm very, very old school. You, what do you train with? What do you like to train to? You turn music on when you train? If you can, just, I guess. Just, I guess I put no shuffle, it just, it just plays anything. Like, I'm yeah. down to train with whatever. As long as it gets me the vibe. Yeah, you're like, I'm trying to work out, I don't really care about the music. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What was, what's, uh, what's some of your early accomplishments in like with the 40, the 400 since you love that event so much? Was there a time when you realized like, I'm gonna be an I'm All-American? I'm gonna be an All-American? After my freshman year, like I, I read my freshman year and it was like the talk of the tape, like the two fastest runners and the two fastest runners. And pretty much it, it was, the, the reps is clean. And then I just, uh, I crossed the finish and I was like, whoa, like I'm a champion. This isn't high school, this is college. Wow. So it, it just felt, it just felt, I don't know. It just felt, it was like the most, I never felt that before in my life, never felt that way before in my life. And then I did it again. It's like, I just, it just feels so good to know like you, you won. That was a question from a friend of mine, uh, uh, Dirty Black. He said, uh, you know, ask him if he knew what it felt like, like, like when, like when he realized. He realized, that, like, oh, I won it. It just felt. Yeah. It just, it felt, it feels good. It feels good. If any of the fans out there have any questions, maybe for our guests, maybe in the future, go ahead and drop a comment. But um, yeah. Other than that, man, uh, you stay busy. Um, yeah. You got a full time job too. Oh uh, yeah, I. I'm an IC, so I'm an independent contractor. I deliver car parts to do beautiful locations. Nice. So right. just car Sit parts in your car in the then and drive around. That's drive around, yeah. So the gym's probably a great relief for you then, huh? Yeah. You After get to work, the gym, you're like, you're just like, oh. <laughs> you're like, I've been sitting around all day. Let's make <laughs> this happen. Traffic. Yeah. 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 Portland traffic, something else now too, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah. So August 21st, we got the fight. August 21st. Man, are you nervous? I'm just like I said, I'm just very, I'm, 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 I'm just ready. I'm the type. I just, I'm, just, I'm very like, I, I'm very behind the scenes. I don't really talk, so you don't, you don't want to hear from me. But like, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Like I said, if anybody's paying attention, I know all you boxers have to be. Have you checked other boxers' pages? Yeah, their pages. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Oh, all right, Looking that's good. good. That's Looking good. good. Smart man. Looking good. Yeah. Smart man. Yeah. Um, is there Everybody anybody in the fight that you just don't want to fight in the first, the first? I mean, I, technically no. I'm down for whoever, they, whoever, whoever, whoever I'm fighting the first, and then. That's for, the correct answer, later. by the way. So I guess, yeah, I don't know. I think, no, I think I'm just ready for whoever, whoever Nathan, whoever Nate gives me or whoever the person I'm fighting, fighting, just, just be ready. Just be ready. So, yeah. It seems like uh, when you signed up for it, was there like any expectations like like right off the bat where you like, well, I'm going to sign up for this fight, do something I great? Seen it, I seen it on Facebook and I was like, whoa, this is an opportunity for me to like show people that I can actually... Cause you know, right. people see people. You know, people know that box, and people, oh yeah, right. oh yeah, champ, champ. You know what I'm saying? I was like, okay, and then I seen. It, I was like, whoa, this is this is like God's gift. This this is God giving me opportunity yeah. to like show that I'm actually, you know, what I'm saying, I know, like I actually can prove to myself that you know, what I'm saying I can fight. And I, my my son, my son and I, he's 14. And we were talking today about watching some of the other fighters and like knowing a little bit of their background, and then now knowing yours a little more. Yeah. At the end of the day, you're an athlete. You know what yeah. I mean? Like. So learning boxing or learning footwork or how to yep. throw punches may be slow at first, but at the end of the day, you're an athlete. Yeah. 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 So muscle yeah, so, memory and those things are, yeah, you're, exactly. you're into that. You're going to exactly. catch on quickly. And that's, that's the thing about, like I said, it's, my, it's a new sport. Like I said, I do football, mm -hmm. um, track, you know what I'm saying? I play some basketball a little bit. Right. So like boxing, like I guess I'm, it's new. It's I'm, new. I'm, I'm, I'm learning in this sport. I right. have, you know what I'm saying? It's like you, I did track for so, so long. It was like boxing, I'm, I'm fresh, you know what I'm saying? I'm still learning it, I'm still learning it, you know? So it's like, I just decided to do a sport that like I know, like I want to start over and be the learner this time, you know what I'm saying? Usually I'm yeah. the one that's, you know what I'm saying, teaching. Sure. Oh yeah, you know, you know track, you little kids, but I want to be, let me try boxing. So now it's like, I'm learning from the, some pros, you know what I'm saying, how to do it, work with me, or yeah. work with this Dre. And it's, it just feels like humbling to know that, okay, I'm, I I'm, I'm in your world. So the footwork thing that he was working on you with, I saw that in the little video he was yelling at you about crossing your feet. Cross my feet? Yeah, it's very, yeah. And just watch him in the video if you watch your instructor. I don't think he crosses his feet one Once. time. <laughs> no, even, yeah, <laughs> even he's crutching me, he's just like, yeah, yeah it's, like, know, it's, it's very weird, like square. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably it's, really counterintuitive to what you're used to as being like a sprinter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, technically, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but like I said, it's, it's, a, it's a learning process. I'm still learning of the sport. I still watch my, vi I still watch my videos. Um, mm -hmm. I got, a, I got a notebook now, so I'm gonna start knocking down notes. 
on how to, like, you know, saying footwork wise. And go. I got my fighters that I watched, that my coach told me to watch, that I'm kind of similar with, you know. So. What kind of advice did he give you there? What do you get? What do you, what do you have you watching? He got me watching some Thomas Hearns. Thomas Hearns. Ooh, some, the Hitman. The Hitman, kind of yeah. tall like him. He said, watch some Hagler. Watch some um, Roy Jones Jr. Some Sugar Ray. So Those it's like, are like I kinda, really I technical got, fighters. So yeah, yeah, I got some stuff homework to do. Wow. But like I said, I've been on it. I've been on it. So that's kind of much it. I'm just doing that until the 21st, and then when the 21st comes, see what happens. But yeah, I'm very excited. I'm very excited. I, I'm excited for you too, man. I love, yeah. I love your energy. It seems like oh, yeah. you're. Just, yeah. He was well, as soon as he got here, he's like, bro, I gotta calm down a little bit. I calm down, man. Yeah, I'm so go. like, yeah. I'm just always like hyped. Yeah. Have you worked out That's tonight me. since you've been? Since um, you've been off work, no, I'm not off work. I mean, I just was kind of waiting to do this, and right. then time came and did this. Or something. What? How long do you usually work out? You do like hour intervals or a couple hours at a time? Ooh, or? It, it varies. Like sometimes I'll stay, like yeah, like an hour or two. Hour or two. Then, wow. Sometimes it'd be more than that. Just wow. so I can like get more work in. Right, right. So sometimes I just become a madman. I work out for like five, four. Are you so one of those depends. guys that have like I do legs on Tuesday, upper body Wednesday? Like... It's, it's like a routine. Yeah. Jump rope, pretty much. And you've been doing that since like high school. Since high school. Yeah. So it's like yeah. I kind of just do the same. Yeah. I got my the, I got my certain thing I do for track, and then I got my certain thing I do for boxing, and then football. So it's like yeah, it's kind of it's kind of I just got. And I you go. get on the jump rope? Yeah. You get on the rope? Oh, jump rope. <sighs> I'm there. I'm not, I'm not like Floyd Mayweather yet. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. gonna get there, but yeah, I'm. Yeah, pretty. I've always been impressed that the boxers are so great at that. Yeah, I'm not yeah. even, yeah, I'm not the level yet. Almost, so I get there. You know about the little echo point over here in the square? Oh. Oh yeah, this is a cool little Portland secret here. Echo. If you stand on this little circle over here, it has a little spot cut out in the ground, and it's called the, the amplifier. So if you stand there and just scream like, ah, you'll hear it really loud. It echoes all around you. It's Who's pretty that? cool. I'll do it if you don't want to do it, so we don't look stupid. Or we can look stupid together. <laughs> No, <laughs> it's pretty cool. Yeah, so yeah, it's called the on it. Yeah, right here. It portrays like right. Yeah, it's called the amplitude. Yeah, so if you stand right here. We kind of talk. Oh, you see here? You hear it? Oh. Come right here. You yeah. Say something. Ah. Uh, yeah. Yo. Yeah. That's pretty neat, huh? Whoa. That's yeah. that's interesting. Cool little Portland trick there. <laughs> Keep Portland weird. Woo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Will for sure. Did you guys ever, I'm sure as a, as a, in grade school and high school, you made a field trip or two to downtown yeah. Portland, right? Downtown Portland, the Oregon Zoo, OMSI, yeah. Symphony, right? Symphony, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember those days. Were you, you went to King, you said, right? The King school. Long, uh, yeah, King school. Did they have King the Mitchell. tumbling team back then? I don't know. No, I think, I think no. Yeah. no. That was an old program, but yeah. I always bring that up. Ted Loke went there too, and he was, he couldn't make the tumbling team. I always wanted to be on the tumbling team. <laughs> yeah. um, all right, well, you want to give some shout outs before we get out, ready to get out of here? Um, um, yeah. Give some love. Shout out to my brother, man, Luis Salazar, man. Hey. I see you 21st, my boy JB. I'm using his song, actually, for my walkout for 21st, but his song's not dropped yet, but I'm using one of his songs. It's not out yet? He's dropping it before the fight so that I can use it to walk out. You let it. me know when that comes out, okay? And I will put it in the description below for everybody to check out. Yes, sir. JB, okay. Jay Barrow. No. Jay Barrow, all right. Shout out to all, like, all your trainers, I take all it All my trainers, you. yes. PCB trainers, my other gym trainers, yeah, pretty much. My two gyms that I'm kind of like tug of war with, yeah. Shout out to all you guys for helping me out with this, so, great. yeah. Great. And then you got family, of course, it's gonna my family, show yes. My family, yes, my mom, my grandma, yeah, my auntie. Yeah. Everybody's about to watch this, that's coming. We'll put the, uh, we'll put the uh, link also in the description there for the event tickets. Okay. Everybody get their tickets. <coughs> Excuse me. That's through Eventbrite, so you can get those tickets yeah, in the link below. Yep. Um, man, it's been cool getting to know. I've never met an, a five-time All-American. I never even met an All-American, so. <laughs> It's yeah, pretty impressive. It's, uh, yeah, you should feel real proud of yourself for that later on in life when you're sitting around the table with the grandkids. Yeah, um, you're going to be quite the cool dude, man. Yeah. Oh yeah, another thing. After the fight, I will be returning back to the track. Ooh. So I actually, yes, yeah. My old high school coach called me. You know what I'm saying? We had our deep talks, and I was like, yeah. He lit, he lit the he lit, he lit the beacon and said, so yes, probably after this, I'm put back to the side, and I got to return to the track. Wow. Return to the track, man. I can't, I'm, I'm missing it too much, man. I'm missing it. I'm missing it. So. Lifetime All-American. Gotta go back to it. Did the Olympics, like, did that ever cross your mind? Oh, yeah, all the time. 
That's, that's what we talked about last night. Ooh, man. That's like that's what you talked about all the time. So yeah, he told me I was like, oh yeah, I have to go back. That's like the the, the Super, my name. The Super Bowl to football players, the Olympics, Olympics. to a runner. Exactly. So uh, uh, well, we'll be returning to the track. So stay let's tuned hope for that. that happens. Oh yeah. Let's oh, get yeah. you a goal. That would be great. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Excited. Um, this is gonna be awesome. Again, August twenty first. Um, mm -hmm. I'll put the flyer up right now. Bing. That'll be right over there for the flyer to check out for everybody to come enjoy the show. Um, I wish you the best of luck. I've seen some of the competitors. I've seen you fight. I know Craig. I got to see Will. This is going to be nuts. I mean, I yeah. suck it to him, my friend. <laughs> thank I you, hope thank to you. see you again, man. Cheers, friend. Cheers, man. Yeah.